the host of Huckabee, Mike Huckabee, is with us. Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce is back with us. You know, I look at the Uranium One deal, and I know William Campbell, and I interviewed him, and he saw the bribery, extortion, kickbacks, money laundering, and Putin, but Putin's thugs here in America, Tammy. And Robert Mueller happened to be the FBI director at the time. He's getting the information. Mm -hmm. The sale went through, it was approved, yep. the money got kicked back. Not a peep in the media. No. Just like there's no peep in the media about the phony Russian dossier that Hillary paid for. Yeah. Why? Well, look, the system is established to protect. Uh, and f for things like this, this is why you had such a sloppy uh, system with the Hillary campaign. There has been such a level of protection that they haven't had to be careful. And, and suddenly, thank goodness, because of the American people and Donald Trump, that environment changed and they were unprepared. This has been going on, well, who knows how long, generations certainly, uh, certainly through the 20th century. So the system is meant to do this. Uh, and it, it's, of course, it's, it's a mutant kind of system that protects uh, the, the bad guys. We're in the process of changing that. And it's going to take more than two years or one term or two years. It's going to take at least a generation to move us out of this corrupt kind of framework. And of course, it's going to fight back. And when you've got the entire monster geared to fighting back, it takes somebody really strong and it takes the American people. This is, you know, we're the bulwark here. Uh, the legacy media has abandoned uh, their job and the American people are the ones now through, thank goodness, the Internet, new media, multiple modes of communication, cable television still... that makes the difference. So so we're going to be able to do it. But the communication framework is going to be different. For example, uh, Governor. So you have all these people in the Senate Judiciary. I believe, whatever the charge, they believed it all. But they didn't say a word about the charges, not 36 years ago, about Keith Ellison, emotional and physical abuse. They didn't, they all love the Clintons. We know all the allegations against Bill. Um, they didn't say a word about Avenatti. He wasn't going to give Brett Kavanaugh due process and presumption of innocence. So it's not the issue they care about. It's the politics they care about, just like here. Russia collusion, but not if it's Hillary's dossier or Uranium One giving 20 percent of America's uranium to the hostile regime of Vladimir Putin. Thought Russia was so bad that they would want to join us and really get to the bottom of it. Well, this isn't about truth, justice or the American way. This is about raw power and keeping it. And if you lose it, then get it back, even if you have to try to overturn the results of an election. And that's why it should be so very troubling. Sean, I don't think you or anybody else in America truly believes that Bill Clinton gave a speech that was worth half a million dollars in Moscow, while his wife happened to be the Secretary of State. And oh, then and suddenly and amazingly, and coincidentally, it just happened that the Uranium One deal came through. FBI director was Bob Mueller. I don't think he's investigating that while he's got this uh, incredible unit of Democrats that he, he's assembled to do investigation of Russia collusion. The real Russia collusion is seemingly going uninvestigated. All right, but Governor, and then you here's have the bottom Dean line. Yeah. But we're like an island here, bringing up news and information with evidence, something they don't have against Donald Trump, and yet it penetrates, and it penetrates. And I'd bet anything Mueller is going to use a sledgehammer to try and bludgeon in his report Donald Trump. Well, there's no doubt about that. But the one thing that has to happen is that the president has to appoint a permanent attorney general, not not a temporary like Whitaker. Uh, maybe it's Lindsey Graham. Maybe it's Trey Gowdy. I don't know. Maybe it's Sean Hannity, for heaven's sakes. No, but that's a bad he's idea. Have somebody I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get who, one vote. Yeah, you know what? It's probably a, a bad idea. They, they'll never confirm you. That's for sure. You're you would right. never make it through <laughs> well, the Senate. Not, but, Tammy wouldn't even vote for me if she was on the Senate. Look, look. they got to have someone, Sean, who is going to be relentless not in trying to be uh, harsh to the Democrats, but trying to be fair to the truth but let, and let get me add, to it no matter who let, it bothers. Let me add, because the person that is going to do the best job is going to be the person that the Democrats freak out about the most. This is why the Senate, as it exists now, the new the newbies coming in, uh, even with Romney, we, we've got to make sure the president uh, makes it clear to Mitch McConnell and every other uh, senator in the Republican Party that th that this matters, that his uh, next uh, uh, attorney general 
must be confirmed that they cannot allow the Democrats to muck up the waters and change this framework. Everything is at stake because the person who's right for that office and every appointee of the president uh, is going to upset people specifically because they intend to clean house. And that's what's important here. All right, guys, great analysis.